I'm Jesus. And key prices are kind of fucked right now. Oh, by the way, I'm also giving away this knife. Link is in the description. And this video is sponsored by the Steam Card Store. More about them at the end of the video. But more importantly, key prices are fucked right now. For most people, they're cheaper on the market than they are to buy from Valve in game. And this, in and of itself, isn't really a new problem. I did a video on it not that long ago explaining what it was and why I thought it was a problem, and Valve fixed it up pretty quickly. We've been good since then. Prices have been flat for quite a while, but beginning on the 26th of June, they've essentially spiraled out of control again. We're back to where we were before, essentially. So I wanna have a look at just what's gone wrong this time. Now, Last time, the problem was the Argentinian and Turkish currencies. They'd depreciated quite a lot due to respective financial crises in those countries, and Valve hadn't bothered to adjust the in-game price of keys in those currencies for about a month, which is a bit ridiculous. Since then though, both currencies have more or less kept their shit together. They don't line up with what's happening here, so we kind of have to look elsewhere. So what could have been happening? on the 26th of June 2019 on Steam that could be responsible. Yeah, it's not exactly a huge mystery and the logical place to start is going to be the summer sale because the crash in key prices has happened so close to the starting of that sale that there may well be some sort of relationship. Maybe it's not a coincidence. Now, it's completely normal for the price of CSGO skins to fall during a sale. People sell the skins off so they can buy games with that money, but that's Probably not what's going on here. Keys generally aren't quite as exposed to this, but the sale may be affecting the price of keys in other ways. So I tweeted out about this, asking if anybody had any ideas, because doing actual research is hard and I'm pretty lazy. And OnePixel, who is an awesome guy by the way, directed me to this. Now, this video shows you how you can spam buy CSGO keys and relist them on the market in order to claim a lucrative number of points in the Grand Prix event and use them to level up your account for minimal costs, which might not be quite as efficient as using Inspect Element to give yourself 4 billion XP like some people did, but now that Vows removed that, well, this is a, a pretty good way to level up your account at minimal cost. However, it does have a side effect a lot of keys are going to get pumped onto the market as a result, and those keys are going to need buyers. And if there aren't enough buyers around, well, the price of keys are going to fall. And given it costs money to level up your account normally anyway, well, you would assume people would spam keys like this to the point where key prices dropped quite a bit below the price that Valve sells them for, right? I mean, keys started off at $2.76 US for a key, so you're losing about 10 cents for every key you sell, and they've fallen to about $2.44 US, where you're losing more like 40 cents, which would make a lot of sense. It all seems to line up, and it's kind of what you'd expect to see. But funnily enough, it's not actually the main reason why key prices have fallen. The main reason why key prices have fallen is actually Pakistan. So Pakistan is currently having a bit of a financial crisis. Going off the articles I've been reading, it sounds like their economy has been catastrophically mismanaged. I got the impression that they've been trying to control their exchange rate and have kept it artificially high. And now that the country is entering into the bust part of the cycle, it's backfired spectacularly. Don't quote me on that either. I only had a cursory look, but Generally speaking, trying to manipulate your exchange rate is a bad idea. It comes back to bite you on the ass. And in this case, it's caused some sudden drops in the value of the currency as the government lost control of the situation. And the reason I know this is what's been driving key prices is that the timing actually lines up. So here we have the exchange rate and the danger zone case key synchronized in Australian Eastern Standard Time. So we can look at how their prices have interacted and you can see that the first drop in the key price happened right around the time there was a drop in the exchange rate on June 26. Now, around about 4 p.m. later that day, the exchange rate recovered and the price of keys also partially recovered, but then it fell back down again. And after only a couple of hours, you can see that keys have done exactly the same thing. And this pattern continues. There was another drop on the 27th that was mirrored by key prices and then Around about midday on the 28th, the exchange rate shot back up again and the price of keys within an hour or so had followed it back up as well. But then the exchange rate dropped off again and after about an hour or so, key prices had done exactly the same thing. So 
Basically, allowing for an hour delay or so, key prices are consistently following the exchange rate, which is a pretty strong indicator that it's a Pakistani currency, not key resellers that are driving prices here. The correlation is just too strong to be a coincidence. So clearly Valve hasn't increased the price of keys in Pakistani rupees for Pakistani customers in game and this allows them to buy keys cheaper than people using other currencies and then resell them on the Steam market at a discount and probably make a small profit in the process. Now I do think the resellers are still exacerbating the issue here. I don't think they're causing it but I think they are making it worse. And the reason I think this is that when I try to investigate the Steam profiles of people who are currently selling keys on the market, some of them were Pakistani, but a lot of them definitely weren't. So there's clearly a lot of reselling going on, and I think it may be making the crashing key prices worse. And this is important because when Valve does eventually fix up the price of keys in Pakistani rupees in game, it means there's probably going to be a delayed recovery in key prices because of all the reselling going on to get Steam levels. But the more important question is still when Valve is going to fix up the issues with rupees in the first place because it's been quite a few days at this point and last time it took them a good month or so so it may not be for a bit. I really hope they're quicker this time. I think it's better that key prices are stable but for the time being we have cheaper keys thanks to Pakistan so if this allows you to buy keys for less than usual well you may as well take advantage of it while it lasts. Now, before I go, I just want to say that I love Cunt. He made my job a lot easier by letting me know what's going on in Pakistan. And I'd also like to mention the Steam Card Store, an awesome site where you can level up cheap and easy as well as sell your card sets and complete sets where you have missing cards. It's simple, it's easy, it's intuitive, and it's a great place to flog off cards you get from games that you pick up during the summer sale. Also, don't be alarmed by this thing when you're logging in. Steam gives false positive warnings like this from time to time. You can just click continue anyway. You don't need to enter in a password. That's that's generally when these things work. If they're a scam, they get you to enter in a password and an authorization code. You don't need to do that here. And hopefully this whole thing gets fixed soon because it's awkward timing having this come up when you're trying to do a plug. I, I can't really not address it, let's be honest, but hopefully it goes away soon because it's a bit awkward. Anyway, that is the Steam Card Store, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this vid, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.